drones can give first responders and disaster management teams an aerial advantage over terrain rendered impassable or unsafe due to natural and man-made hazards. Drones can also surveil isolated locations by giving first responders and disaster management teams a bird's eye view of the affected area to better determine the appropriate resources and tools needed to mount a rescue operation or identify alternative access points. The National Emergency Management Organization, NEMO, is building drone piloting capacity and has enlisted members of St. Lucia's Protective Services to do so. In times of a disaster, a lot of things can happen, will happen and does happen. And we need to have our tools of response to be very much um, on point. So then using drones, uh, as, you, as everybody may be aware, you get a lot of advantages to use our drones. So we'll have a lot of um, surveillances we could, we could do um, without manned missions. So we are doing this in an effort to have a greater and better sense of response time. NEMO facilitated a four-week drone piloting training exercise with members of St. Lucia's Protective Services. Local fire, police and correctional officers participated in the drone piloting exercise. We know very well that um, during times of disaster that NEMO relies on the assistance of other agencies and so it is very important for our personnel to provide that sort of support and the service to NEMO. Um, during disasters, we know of the many things that happen. We know that we have the possibility of loss of life. We know that at times persons go missing, and it's important for us to assist and to also ensure that we are in a state of readiness. NEMO also plans to offer the drone piloting training to auxiliary disaster groups throughout the island. From the office of the Prime Minister, Rihani Isidore.